before our boys get her. If you say so, Skip. Just remember, you break it, you bought it. through its paces and tear it apart. Uh -huh. I'm just looking out for all of us, you know. Ah, uh -huh. uh, shut up. In grades. Okay, I was thinking this ought to be good. No, really, I've been giving it some thought. All I'm saying is this. We transport these planes back and forth where they're needed. And sometimes, like with this one, we're the first crew to fly the plane, right? Right. I think if we're its first crew, we ought to get to name it. You want to name the plane? She just wants a plane named after her, that's all. She wants to name the plane Hoodsy. Well, sure. Why not? What's a better name than Hoodsy? Vicky? Lana? Hold on. Roger that. Oh, and uh, Hoodsy wants to name the plane after her. Roger that. Sorry, honey. Skipper says no. Prepare for landing. Ah. Nuts. We're ready for landing back here, Skipper. Over. Roger that, Vicky. Hold on, girls. We'll all be wearing grass skirts before you know it. Welcome to Hawaii, ladies. Roger that. Go ahead, Vicky. You're ordered to report to the base commander's office. The rest of us are on standby. That can't be good news. Never is. 
Betsy, you're with me. Oh, and girls, if the brass hats come by, remember, chests out. That's what Uncle Sam likes to see. Yes, yes Skipper. Skipper. <laughs> Sir, Maxine West, Women Air Force Service Pilots reporting. Miss West, this is Colonel Toller. Colonel? Miss West? B-29 delivered to Hickam is ordered, sir. Hold on to that paperwork, Miss West. You'll need to deliver it to the CO at Tinian. Tinian, sir? Perhaps the Colonel doesn't realize that my crew just flew from Wichita to Long Beach, refueled there, and was then diverted here to Hickam. Then you'll fly out again, Miss West. As soon as the plane is refueled, you and your crew will fly the modified B-29 with Colonel Toller, his men, and his cargo to the airfield at Tenian, where you'll await further orders. Cargo, sir? The cargo and Colonel Toller's mission are both top secret, Miss West. Yes, sir. You will consider yourself under Colonel Toller's command. Understood? Yes, sir. You'll leave within the hour. I suggest you inform your crew. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What's up, Skipper? Looks like they're out of grass skirts, Bets. Circumstances. Report that to Miss West. Yes, sir. Skipper? The Colonel says no course change under any circumstances. Over. Roger that, Vicky. This is just getting worse, Skip. Son of a. We need to divert. Betsy, take the stick and keeper level. I'm going to explain things to the Colonel. Belt on one for me, Skipper. Vicky, find me some place to land until this thing blows over. We're getting out of this storm. Colonel, before you say anything, what you're insisting on is suicidal. We can't get above this thing. I have to set her down now, if I still can. There's no other option. Miss West, if you take us down now, there's a good chance we're going to land in Japanese-occupied territory. I cannot allow my cargo to fall into enemy hands. We don't have a choice, sir. Skipper! Something's up here with us. Something big. Looks like we already have company. If that's the case, we're better off at the bottom of the ocean than in their hands. Stay on course. Murphy, Lee, man the turrets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Feel that? It's not the enemy I'm worried about. Find me some place to land. You're under orders, Miss West. You're really going to shoot me, Colonel? What hit us? 
I don't know what the hell it was. It wasn't a plane, I know that. Yes! We did it, Skipper! We're not out of it yet. We're leaking fuel. Come on, there's gotta be some place to settle down. Come on. We're in the middle of nowhere, Max. There's nothing down there. Whatever hit us had to come from someplace. It's a long shot, but it's all we've got. for a landing. We're gonna have to circle back. Vicki, make sure everyone's secure. We found land and we're gonna try to set her down. Over. Roger, Skipper. What is it? What's going Colonel, on? you have to stay in your seat, sir. Please, Colonel. Trust the Skipper to get us through this. We do. Congratulations, Miss West, Miss Quigley. You beat the odds. We're out of the frying pan. Now let's see if we jumped into the fire. Round these up. Take this one. Together we'll keep an eye out for the others. Roger, Skip. Sergeant Lee! Miss Smith! Sergeant, let me see your grenades. Miss Smith? They call me Hoodsy, sir. Miss Smith, do you know how to use these? Yes, sir. Good. If anybody comes along that you don't know, I want you to pull the pins and throw them in the plane. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The explosion should slag anything the enemy can use. I'm counting on you, Miss Smith. Yes, sir. Hey, you'll be all right. There's probably nothing on this island. Maybe a few monkeys. I'm not worried. Good, because I want those pineapples back when we're done out there. Okay. Sir. 
Skipper, did you see the side of the plane? I know. What the hell does something like that to a B-29? And are there any more of them? Can you make repairs? Repairs? Don't you think we should find out what did that first? That wasn't done by a Japanese Zero. Thank you, Miss Quigley. Left to my meager experience, I wouldn't be able to figure that out. Whatever did that to the plane doesn't change our present situation. We need to get that bomber off the ground. Can you make repairs? No idea. If we need parts, we're up sh We're out of luck. Colonel. Fine. We need to reconnoiter. Find out if there's any enemy on the island. You and your girl stay here and assess the damage to the bomber. You should be safe here. We don't need to be safe, Colonel. My girls have received exactly the same training male pilots have. They can handle themselves. After what happened to Lana, we've got a stake in this. Perhaps you're confusing orders with options, Miss West. I'm just advising the Colonel of the resources at his command, sir. Fine. Miss Quigley will stay here with Miss Smith and assess the damage to the plane. Done. Betsy, I need to know what it's going to take to get that plane in the air. You got it, Skipper. Keep your weapon handy. Stay close to the plane. Watch the skies. Before you ask, I'm sticking with you, Skip. I thought you would. Stick close. All right, we're going to fan out, but stay within earshot. We're looking for evidence of enemy presence on the island, also for any fuel, medical supplies, aircraft parts. Any other sources of food and water. I don't need to tell you how dangerous this is. Anything moves on the ground or in the air, don't think. Shoot. Let's go. Somebody, sir. How do you get up in a tree? Colonel, this is a Japanese uniform. Well, that answers one question. Let's push on. Everyone stay alert. This is really bad, Murph. You worry too much. Uh, their radio equipment smashed. Lee, we're on a secret mission. So not like we're going to call for help anyway. We landed at empty enemy base. Hopefully empty. Okay, hopefully empty enemy base. You're sweating it too much. Yeah, I guess you're right. Cheer up. We're trapped on a tropical island with four beautiful young women. Tomorrow the sun will come out, skies will clear, and it'll be paradise. You ever think of the big head, Murph? 
There's no time for romance. Well, who said anything about romance? Poor son, you get to live whenever and wherever you can. Life's too short. <laughs> Damn. I'm getting shorter all the time. Not good. Colonel, if you are suggesting... Miss West, relax. Things are not what they seem. I found a landing strip with a lot of empty zeros, sir. Understood. Murphy! Ease back slowly. Cover our rear. Make sure there's no more of our new friends out there. On it, Colonel. This one's a captain. If there was an evacuation, he wouldn't be here. And they wouldn't have left any undamaged planes, either. So, whatever happened here wasn't your usual battle. Agreed. Put down your weapons and let the girl go now! the moves but sir that no that thing attacks they don't fire a single shot they're all out of ammo isn't that right tojo take him prisoner lee help murphy we've got to stop the bleeding and get him to safety there's no telling when that nightmare is going to show up again i right, get him back to the bomber gently Grab a few torches for protection. That's the first thing he did when that thing attacked. Lee and I will find suitable accommodations for our new friends here. Miss West, if you wouldn't mind going with them, please, no arguments. Yes, sir. But you sing out if you need us. At ease, Murphy. They giving you any trouble? No, sir. They jabber to each other now and then, but mostly I think they're happy to be fed. Don't underestimate them. They survived here for months where their comrades didn't. They gotta be pretty tough. Yes, sir. Are we gonna get off this island, Colonel? We're working on it, Murphy. We're working on it.
that thing doesn't leave you anything worth bearing. For everything there is a season. Any time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born. And a time to die. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to break down. And a time to build up. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. A time to seek. And a time to lose. A time to keep. And a time to cast away. A time for war. And a time for peace. Keep them flying, hun. Two lines were severed, two engines blown, and some of those cables were damaged. But the good news is, with the parts and tools we scrounged up here on the island, we can fix the engines and get her flying again. When? Four to five days. Unacceptable. It's the way it is, Colonel. And that four to five day estimate doesn't take into account that overgrown canary up there. What the hell was that thing, Skipper? Damned if I know. It was like something out of King Kong. And there's more than one of them. One of them couldn't destroy the space camp on its own. You heard their cries last night. We need to get off this rock now. The radio on the bomber is still operational. We could call for help. Negative. It's a top secret mission. The Pacific is crawling with the enemy. We can't take that chance. Then we don't have a choice. Well, there might be another way, Skipper. The Zeros you found. I don't like it, Betts. The Zeros don't have the 29s, 50 mic mic guns to back them up. They're too vulnerable. Explain. We strip down one of the zeros. Pull out all non-essential equipment. Just leave a gas tank, a stick, and some wings. Might just make it to Australia and help. And Miss West is right. Never make it off the ground. The cries have died down, which means they must hunt at night. You start up an engine and take to the air, you're gonna get their attention. Those things have claws that can almost cut through a B-29. They go through a zero like a straight razor through tissue paper. What are the zeros fixed for ammo? Planes have plenty of ammo. It's ammo for the rifles and the sidearms they ran out of. Colonel, we only need one stripped down zero. We could put three more in the air ready to fight. The rest of my crew can fly escort until I clear the island. Could make all the difference. If everything goes well, we could have help here in 16 hours. Having said that, I don't think it's the best solution. I'd rather wait and get the 29 back in the air. But it is your call, sir. Command needs to know where we are ASAP, so do what you need to do. I afraid you'd say that. Understood. Betsy, get to work on the zeros, have Vicky figure out the weight and fuel requirements. Right, Skipper. A moment, please, Colonel. Yes, Miss West? I've already lost my engineer to something out of one of Hoodsy's comic books. And there's a good chance I'm gonna lose more. Your cargo. Don't you think we deserve to know what's so important? Miss West, I understand how you feel. 
But let me impress upon you the simple facts just one more time. This is a top secret mission, the highest priority. And what the nature of my cargo is, it's none of your business. Now, I don't care for your insubordination. And if you or your girls try to find out what my mission is, I will not hesitate to take you out and shoot you. Am I understood? Yes, sir. It'd be a damn shame if that man walked into a spinning propeller. Then what do you think they are? Dinosaurs. Honey, those comics of yours are rotting your brain. Dinosaurs are extinct. Well, these aren't. No one has ever seen a dinosaur, Hudsey. They don't exist anymore. That's what they said about dragons, and then that guy found them on that island. You mean the Komodo dragons? <laughs> Those aren't really dragons, sweetie. Well, they sure look like them to me. What do you think they are, Skipper? Damned if I know. I'm just glad the fire seemed to keep them away. Vicky, what do you got? Just a moment, Skipper. It's just possible, but there's a hitch. In order for the Zero to reach its destination, the plane's weight has got to be its absolute minimum. Even stripping out the guns and all non-essential equipment, the pilot can't weigh more than 102 pounds. That's with everything stripped out. Everything. Yes, Skipper. I weigh 115. Can I ditch and get help? I can't be certain. There's no guarantees. Damn it. There's got to be a way. There is. I weigh 100 pounds. Hudsey? I weigh 100 pounds, Skipper. I can pilot the plane. No. You're not ready for this. All due respect, Skipper, I am. Hudzi, you have the least amount of flight time in the entire crew. It's a long, hard flight, and that doesn't take into account that flying bastard up there. You're a brave girl. But no, I'm going to do it. She's the best choice weight-wise. You know that, Skipper. I said I'm taking the Zero up. I can ditch and get help. The matter is closed. Miss West. The girl's our best chance. Is that an order, Colonel? No. Of course not. It's your choice. You know best. Skipper, it should be Hudson, and you should fly escort. It's our best shot. <sighs> All right. Hudson takes the zero up. Betsy, Vicky, and I fly escort. You better make it, or Mama's gonna kick your ass. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We fly at dawn. Thank you, Colonel. Miss West? Do you feel your death approaching? You know they will kill us. If we are to die, we should die in battle. You embrace death too quickly. Our execution is not certain. With the respect, Captain, how can you say that? You know the Americans will not show us any mercy. You must learn patience. Our captain has. He waits to see if our enemies will destroy each other. Patience is a for sheep. I will die in battle, fighting for my country. Do me a great service, Takashi. Don't be in a rush to die. Young soldiers think they must rush headlong to the grave. That is the tragedy of war. Hi. Hi. I'm Vanessa. My friends call me Hoodsy. It's a nickname from back home. It's, it's actually one of the... The ice cream cup. <laughs> well, what's their slogan? It's Hoodsy, cute, sweet, fun to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm Lee. John Lee. But... They just call me Lee. I know. Uh, I, I was wondering... 
Well, is everything okay out here? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, you gotta keep an eye on them every minute, but I got it under control. I'll bet you do. So... Uh... I just wanted to... Well, I don't know if you know, but I'm going on this mission tomorrow, and I've never really... Well, that is... what it would be like to kiss you before I go. I, I gotta go get ready now. Um, thanks. I like you. Form up on Betsy. Betsy and I take wing positions. Vicky, you're covering her rear. Over. Roger that. Roger that. Hey, Skipper. Is this trip really necessary? Over. I wish it wasn't. Over. Told you, Bats. 
Okay, we're not gonna make it. I'm ordering us back to the airstrip now. But skip that. I don't wanna hear it, Hudsy. There's four of us and a hundred of them. Get on the ground now. <laughs> Move your asses, ladies. Here they come. Skipper, hold on. I'm coming with you. Negative, Betsy. Get Hoodsy back safe. I'll be right behind you. Over. I'm hit. How bad is it? Over. I can bring it in. Betsy? Do it, Skipper! Stay focused! Bring Hudsy home. I'll be waiting. Over. Uh-uh. Not today, you bastard. Nothing you could do, Skipper. Tell Hoodsy that. Max. Save it, Betsy. That's an order. That's no good, Skipper, and you know it. She was just a kid. So what do we do now? How do we get out of this nightmare? You don't. You speak English? Obviously. Bring him out here, Murphy. I was educated in the United States. Brown University, class of 38. I can't begin to tell you how impressed I am. Identify yourself. I am Ozu, captain of the Imperial Japanese Air Force. The others speak English, too? Regrettably, no. I am the only one. Right. That's enough, Miss Quigley. What the hell happened here? Come on, you wouldn't have spoken up unless you wanted to share. Telling you will do no harm. While excavating tunnels on this island, a complement of my men stumbled across an ancient cavern. Inside it were the preserved eggs of these dragons that plague us. The eggs hatch. They overwhelmed us. The more we destroyed, the more they came. We couldn't call for aid because the battle lines had shifted as they had done many times before. We found ourselves behind enemy lines and besieged by monsters. We made a similar attempt to escape, as you just did, as well as other efforts, but they all failed. They destroyed everything we put in the air. Wait a minute. You tried to fly out before and failed? You knew that this wouldn't work and you didn't tell us? Would you have believed us? <laughs> I swear, you are the enemy. The less of you, the better for us. You son of a bitch! I regret the deaths of the young lady, if truth be told. I regret the deaths of the nearly 50 young men in my company. This item is a nightmare, as your sergeant says, but I'm not required to help you. You and I are still enemies. Well, then there's no reason for me not to execute you right now. You won't do it, Miss West. It's not in your nature. Try me. And we'd be dead already. If the colonel did not think my men were still valuable enough to keep alive. Stand down, Miss West. He might be right, we might still have a use for him. But I promise you, when his time comes, you can pull the trigger, agreed? Agreed. I got a couple hundred questions for you, Captain. Now we'll have to wait. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I may return to my men. Take him back, Murphy. All right, let's all get some rest. Start again at dawn. 
Murphy, you okay with sentry duty? Yes, sir. All right, Lee, we'll leave you at 0300. Keep the fires blazing. Don't want any visitors tonight. Everybody get some sleep. Dismissed. Yes, Takashi. Shouldn't we be making our plans now? For what? Our escape. I have more important things on my mind than escape. Captain. The Colonel is a very unusual man. A man like that always has a mission, Takashi, and I would like to know what it is. But the monsters. They have survived the monsters. Our cares are nearly over. Think, Takashi. The Americans have brought our means of escape. When they repair the bomber, we will take it and leave them here on this rock. There are three men in our way, and one of them is wounded. With the women? The women are no threat. Escape sits within our grasp whenever we want to use it. But before we go, I would like to find out what has brought the Colonel to our little island home. Not getting rid of me that easily. I almost did. May I ask why the Colonel's traipsing through the jungle in the middle of the night? Reconnaissance. We need to find out how many of those things there are. You're looking for their nests. You said they attack from the other side of the island, so that's where I'm going. I'm going with you. This is dangerous, Miss West. Don't be scared, Colonel. I'll cover you. We must be getting close. I'm sorry about the girl. She had a name. It was Vanessa. Her friends called her Hoodsy. I'm sorry about Hoodsy. Tough decision to make, but it was the right one we had to try. We should keep going. Right. What is it? Look for yourself. Be careful. There must be a hundred of them.
Roger that. You won't be happy until we're all dead, will you? That's out of line. Is it? Colonel, I've already lost two members of my crew, two good and dedicated women. What am I saying? Hoodsy was just a kid, and we almost joined her just now. What the hell are you doing that's worth all this? I can't tell you. Colonel, in case you haven't noticed, we're in a very unusual situation, and we might not get out of this one. If we don't get out, you don't complete your mission. Look, Miss West, I understand the risk seems extreme. The price you paid is high and might get higher. All I'm allowed to tell you is that it's worth it. You have my word. Colonel, it's not enough to fight. You have to know what you're fighting for. And you'll excuse me if your word just isn't good enough. Well, that's all you get. Let's get out of here. We've got a bomber to repair. We can help. We can help repair and refuel the plane. And why should we trust you to do that? Desperate men take desperate actions, Colonel Tola. You want to survive just as you do. No. Those canaries of yours are multiplying. There were just a dozen or so when they first attacked. Listen to their cries. There must be a hundred. Every moment you waste is a critical loss. My men are trained aviators and mechanics. We can help. I said no. I don't know, you being foolishly stubborn. Murphy, take him back to the hut. It could mean the difference between living and dying. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you haven't fought them. You can't trust them, you can't trust any of them. Even if they helped, you wouldn't take them with us, would you? No. Colonel, I understand we're at war, but I don't think we're getting off this rock unless we all work together, and getting whatever's sitting in the Bombay Detinian is your mission, isn't it? They want to take the plane, Miss White. I know, sir. We'll just have to control the situation. So you want to take Ozu and his men back with us, don't you? There's room in the bomber. They can help get us in the air. I think they've earned their seats. And I'd love to see them brought in prison. Well, that's your opinion. Ultimately, it's my decision. Understood, sir. But my original point still stands. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. We could use their help. Fine. We'll use them. But if they step out of line, I'll shoot them. I make no promises they get off this island, understand? Oh, and Miss West, if anything does go wrong, the blood's on your hands. Not from where I stand, sir.
Looking for something, Captain? Simple uh, curiosity, Colonel. I apologize. What were you looking for? Are we going to play this game? I was doing what you would do in my situation. And if I did find something of interest, would I tell you? I catch you on this plane again. I won't hesitate to blow your head off. Do you understand me, Captain? Your meaning is very clear, Colonel. Colonel, fuel lines repaired and that patch should hold. The damaged engines will turn over, but I can't guarantee how long they'll last. Kashi helped me strip out a radio from one of those zeros and install it in the bomber. Using that, you can keep in direct voice contact with us when we're flying escort, Skipper. We still need to fix some of the cables, but we should be ready to go by tomorrow night. We do have a problem. There's not enough fuel for the escorts and the bomber. We won't reach our destination. There's a cache of fuel drums on the other side of the island, near Ragoon. Yeah, we've seen it. It's surrounded by our flying friends. Sadly, it's our only alternative. Looks like we're saddling up again. All right, we got a chance of getting down there without getting their attention. We can coast a truck down to the edge of the beach. I'd be glad to help. I'm sure you would, Captain. But I think you're better suited here with your men and Sergeant Murphy's capable hands. Murphy? Yes, sir. Would you mind escorting Captain Ozu back to the prisoner's shack? Captain, if you wouldn't mind joining Mr. Murphy. Of course, Colonel. Good luck. All right, we'll take off first thing in the morning since they hunt at night. Hopefully, most of them will be asleep by then. We'll take everyone with us except Murphy and your navigator, Miss Teeling. They can keep an eye on the prisoners. You know what we're up against, so make sure your crew stays quiet. Stay sharp. Yes, sir. Back into the lines, Dan Betsy.
Watch out! That's an order! They made sure we got out, Skipper. Oh, yeah. And they did. I'd like to think Tola did it for us. Not just a mission. Even if that were true, he probably would have denied it. Tola and Lee just died to get us off this rock. Let's not disappoint them. Stay in the truck, Betsy.
Things have changed. This time we have ammunition. Tell the woman to put down her weapon and get out of the truck. Just shoot him, Skip. Shoot the bastard. Hero! Do it now, or they both die. Stay there, Bets. Where's the colonel and the other soldier? Dead. It's over now. Put down your weapon and no one will harm you. We are not the barbarians. We are not Americans. Let her go, or I will kill you. Then you all die as well. Put down the gun. Very well. I do not play games. There's too much at stake. More than even you know, Miss West. It's not just about survival anymore. I will give you one more chance to throw down your gun. Go to hell. That is what I'm trying to avoid. Hey. Now it's over. Is it? Examined your brain. I know your mission. How? I was with the EFCO project for a while. I see, you succeeded. Well, he failed. I know what kind of bomb that is. I do not allow you. You don't to... have any say in it, Captain. It's extinction. A genocide. The deaths of my people. You, you must stop it. That's enough, Captain. Stand down. I would rather die like a soldier than in the hell you've devised. I said stand down, Captain. And the spirits of the dead, the temple of vengeance, Colonel Tora. I promise you, I will need the charge! He was still dangerous. He was dying! And he died like a soldier. You murdered him in cold blood. Isn't that what you wanted to do a few days ago, Miss West? I'm sorry, I should have let you pull the trigger. Tell me what your mission is. Tell me what's in the bomb bay or you're never getting off this island. Miss West. You're relieved of command, Colonel. You don't have the authority, you're a civilian. And you're not getting off this rock without us. What's in the bomb bay? It's a bomb, Miss West. Don't play games with me. This isn't just about a single bomb. It's an atom bomb. The most powerful weapon in the world. It can take a city the size of New York and turn it into ash. We're gonna drop it on Japan and end this war once and for all. And if it doesn't work, we're gonna drop more of them. It's real. Yes. And it's on the plane. That's what Ozu meant by genocide. You'll kill thousands. Hundreds of thousands. And save countless American lives. Max! Let her go. All those people.
an island full of monsters. Time to go. We all set? You sure you want to do this at night? The way these things are breeding, day, night, doesn't matter anymore. We're ready to go, Skip. You don't have to do this. We can all take our chances in the bomber. Betsy and I on escort is the best way to ensure that bomber gets out. After all, that is our mission. We're more maneuverable in the Zeros than the B-29. The B-29's gun will give us good cover. It's our best bet. And I want to get the hell out of here. You won't reach Tinian and the Zeros, Betsy. Well, the Tinian, boss, as long as we stay close to you and you mark our positions, we'll make it. You're taking a hell of a chance. Seems to me we've taken worse recently. You remember what happened to Hoodsy? Last chance to hitch a ride with me. No can do, Skip. Besides, I've seen you fly. serve with you, ma'am. It's been my honor. Call me ma'am again and I'll shave your heads. <laughs> Happy landings, ladies. Miss West. Colonel. They're good soldiers. You should be proud. Every minute of every day, sir. Let's go, Colonel. The skies await. West. And here they come, six o'clock. There must be dozens of them. Stay calm, Betsy, and keep climbing. Let's get them to wear themselves out. Over. They're catching up, Skipper. Over. Stay in formation, Betsy. Colonel, would you have a word with them? Over. With pleasure, Miss West. Shooter, you think you are? Me too. Over. Don't cut it too close, hon. Over. It's always the quiet ones. 
Beg pardon? Over. Just don't scratch the paint, sweetie. Over. Roger that. Walk in the park. Want to go around again? Over. Roger that. How we doing, ladies? Over. Holding our own, boss, but just. Over. Stay sharp. Over. Betsy! Betsy! 
How the hell did you get out of that? Pulled out of the stall and headed back up to sea looking for you. Guess we missed each other in the clouds. Yeah, I guess we did. Good thing, too. Don't think I could have made it to the blast if I wasn't so far out. That was one hell of a firecracker you dropped. Skipper, no kidding around. I've never seen anything like that, ever. That felt like the world was ending. I know. Any damage to the plane, Betsy? Are you okay? I'm a little banged up, but I'll be okay. I'll never make it to land. I'm gonna have to ditch. Stick with me as long as you can, Betsy. I'll mark your position and send someone out to get you. Roger that. Max? Yeah, Bets. I was thinking, when we get back to Tinian, we need to name the plane after Hoodsy like she wanted. We need to make them do that, okay? Okay, and okay. I'll even buy the paint. Okay. It's a deal. Thanks, Max. It's okay, Betsy. Just hang in there and stick close. We're going home.